Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Our expert today will be talking about why do we have to use and why to use Delta Lakes. So let's get into the video. On this disk, I have petabyte scale data for you. And this data is in the JSON format, JavaScript object notation, hierarchical files, right? Key value pair documents. My aim is to develop a pipeline. And that pipeline should be able to handle batch plus streaming both real time as well as batchy. Okay, both. as well as I want the capability of acid compliance. I want atomicity, atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. I hope you know this right. Acid compliance, acid, OLTP systems give us acid transactions, atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. Now see data lake. Anyone knows what is the problem of data lake? Data lake is not reliable. Data lake, a simple data lake is not reliable. Why? See, basically, if there is a file in a data lake and two big data processes, V1 and V2, overwrite the same file, this file will get corrupted. Concurrency control is not there in a data lake. If two big data processes at the same time try to process the same file and try to do incremental changes in that file, they will do corruption of that file. Oh. Which means concurrent big data analytical processing on a lake can corrupt my entire data. So I have reliability issues in a data lake. Simple data lake has reliability issues. So to mitigate such reliability issues of overwriting and concurrency and incremental uploads of the data, incremental file uploads, all such problems can be handled by a format which is called as a delta format. A delta format will give us what? Acid compliance and concurrency control using a transaction log. It creates something called as a a versioned transaction log of what is happening on your files so that if a transaction log is maintained we will be able to give you what atomicity consistency isolation and durability we can give you cons we can give you consistency we can give you concurrency control we can give you serialization and why versioned so that we can do time travel to different people we can tell what is the historical version of this file right i can tell you the historical version of the file that's why i am maintaining version the transaction log right that will give me historical version of the file time travel capabilities delta format also gives us advanced technologies like file compaction z ordering right but for us we want to leverage delta format for designing batch plus streaming pipelines which are reliable and which give us what's called as refinement characteristics right so what i will do is that i will read data from the javascript object notation disk one one file at a time one file at a time right so one one file will come at a time so what is this one one file i am getting data in stream incremental stream and not as a batch incremental stream one 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 i will get one one file okay i will get one file at a time and one file at a time i will get streaming then i will do what i will put them into something called as a bronze delta table the bronze delta table is a raw table right after the bronze delta table i will put it into a silver table silver table is a query table you can also tell is a join table join table and after the silver table i will put it into a gold table gold table which is nothing but aggregation table 
which keeps my business aggregates. And then I will query the gold table through a real time visualization. And we can also get static visualizations, right? I will develop both kinds of visualizations. And this all I will do in real time, real time. Everything is real time. And for real time, we will use something called a structured streaming of Azure uh, Databricks, structured streaming. Delta is a format which basically converts your data to a frame, which is nothing but uh, data is all in ADLS, Azure Data Lake Storage. And when we store format Delta, it will become a Delta table, which is nothing but a version transaction log Delta table. So guys, if you liked our video, then do give us a thumbs up. But if you really want to learn more about the particular topic we discussed, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Microsoft Azure Data Engine certification. That is DP203 along with some question and answers where we'll be discussing about why is everyone working on data, importance of some Azure services you should learn and many more things. So for that, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure DE02. And after that, you'll be seeing a screen like this. Just click on book your free seat now. Select your event date whenever you're available. Reserve your spot by adding your name, your email address, and your phone number. And you'll be getting all the updates via mail. You'll be seeing this kind of window on extreme right. So you can save this link. Add to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep hustling and take care.